xylography, a radiographic visualization of the salivary gland. It is useful in evaluating intrinsic and acquired abnormalities of the ductal system. It is also a precious tool in pre-surgical planning prior to the removal of the salivary masses. In this video, we will be presenting unto you the demonstration of the xylography procedure of the parotid gland in a model. Let's start with the list of armamentarium required. We have a mouth mirror, probe, tweezer, syringe, occlusal radiograph, intraoral periapical film, cotton, contrast media, lacrimal probe and a cannula. This is the model with which we'll be proceeding our demonstration. Now, I'm pointing towards the parotid gland and this is the stenson duct. The procedure contains three phases. The first phase is the preoperative phase where a preliminary plain film evaluation called scout film is done. Since it's a model, the radiographic evaluation cannot be presented. Now let's take a look upon the second phase called the filling phase. The relevant duct orifice needs to be found. For the parotid gland, orifice is located at the base of the papilla in the buccal mucosa adjacent to the first or the second molar. Caliber of the duct is 1 to 2 mm wide. After the appropriate orifice has been identified, the duct can be explored with the lacrimal probe. When the duct orifice has been adequately sized and enlarged, the xylographic cannula is inserted into the duct. The contrast media is loaded into the syringe and slowly inserted through the cannula into the parotid duct. The contrast media suitable for xylography is iodine-based. They are available as water-soluble media or fat-soluble media. The cardinal rule is that the injection should be stopped when the gland is full or when the patient experiences mild discomfort. After the filling phase, radiographs are made. The third phase is the emptying phase. After the final xylographic views have been made, the cannula is removed. The patient is asked to chew gum or lemon slice and then rinse. After 5 minutes, radiographs should be made. These provide information about the excretory function of the gland. Normal salivary gland excretes out the dye within 5 minutes.